To watch the solar eclipse, however, many had to get creative on how to view the rare phenomenon. Our Sarah Winkleman shows us how Brainerd residents got to view it safely. All eyes were in the skies earlier this afternoon as the moon passed in front of the sun. The Brainerd Public Library and Central Lakes College teamed up to provide a fun and safe environment for all ages to enjoy viewing the solar eclipse. We can read about it in a book, you know, you can sit in the classroom and the teacher can go like this about it. But to, to experience it, to be under it, is, um, it's, that's always, you always learn more. Residents were able to see the eclipse passing in the Brainerd sky through the lens of a telescope or by putting on solar glasses. The Brainerd Public Library had about a hundred of these on hand for residents to come and use on location to view the solar eclipse. I happened to stop by here last week and they're like, yeah, we'll have glasses on hand. I was like, sweet, because otherwise, you know, you have to turn your back and you can't see it and it's a really great opportunity. For Allie, the best part about the eclipse was seeing the reaction of her kids. It's fun to see it through their eyes. You know, logically, I can totally understand what's going on, and, and it's cool to see, but to see them experience it is it just brings it to a whole new level. For those at CLC, the viewing on campus was important to keep area viewers safe. It made it really nice and easy to see, and it's keeping your eyes safe, so very good. The weather in central Minnesota was not ideal, but the clouds cleared enough for a good show up close through the telescope. It gives us a large view of the edge of the moon as it passes over the sun, and what you would see on a clear day with a really crisp sky is uh, you'd actually see the texture of the surface of the moon. The moon is a place that has mountains and valleys and so forth, and you'd see kind of that rugged uh, line of the edge of the moon passing over the sun. We're not we're not really seeing that today. Community members filled the parking lots of both locations to see this rare and special sight. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The Brainerd Public Library also had books and crafts for kids to learn about the solar eclipse during the viewing event. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.